What's up, Internet? Robert Tea Garden back again. It's been a minute, but we are here with another Tea Garden tech review. And this time, guys, we are going back in time. I got an email from a company that if you watch this channel, you might be familiar with. And they said, we're coming out with a new product. I wanted to see if you wanted to review. I said, I got nothing going on in my life. Sure, send it on over. And so they did. And now I've got a new leaf board to unbox, to ride around, to give my critiques, my reviews, my thoughts, my prayers, my all of these different things. And so over the next couple days, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride this leaf board around. I'm gonna take it to a whole bunch of other places. I'm gonna go about it in the same way that I did my previous leaf board, which was glued at the hip to me. Anytime anyone needed anything, I would hop on that skateboard and bam, I'm off to the races, going to make sure that I can get some time, some miles, some road under my feet on this board. Things that I would be really interested in seeing is uh, how this new remote performs. Has anything happened with the range? Is there anything different with the way that it breaks and accelerates? Have they fixed the, uh, the algorithm, so to speak? Uh, we're gonna have to see and, and check it out. I think the next cut you're gonna see is of me riding this board around. I don't know, just a uh, little foreshadowing for you there. impressions are good I like an idiot forgot to loosen the truck so turning's a little harder and uh, I'm definitely feeling it and my back calf oh big bump uh, but it's smooth acceleration smooth braking is smooth I'm gonna have to see if I can mess with that setting a little bit uh, but it's nice man it just feels feels solid feels familiar. I guess that's the word. It feels familiar. All right, I got to keep riding this thing a ton more to really give a good impression and I'm taking it with me tomorrow all day. Let's get it on. back in the studio had to do some other recording today so just slight change of environment but I think I've got enough stuff to really share my initial thoughts on this new leaf board version 2 or leaf board pro uh, and in general I gotta say I really I really enjoy it um, it just seems like a much tighter uh, more you know precise version of the first one uh, a couple things that I've noticed uh, that I want to recap um, and just overall, I think the, the acceleration and the braking seem much smoother. Uh, the, the first version kind of had like a little bit of a whiskey throttle, um, and I would always show newer friends that wanted to ride this board, or the first version, um, you would always start them in the lowest, uh, kind of le least aggressive mode possible. Just because you would hit that the accelerator and you would be gone um, and a kind of torquey little torquey action there same thing with the braking so overall uh, everything is much smoother the algorithm seems like it's been uh, kind of fussed with a little bit and, and everything seems to be a lot more smooth in that reaction uh, the other thing is just the general ride of the board seems a lot more tight and together um, and it's more fluid 
uh, which I really, really enjoy. I think even after loosening the trucks a little bit, um, I tend to ride my stuff pretty loose, uh, more of like a snowboard surfer type of a feel. Uh, everything was very tight and succinct and together. Um, it had really good feel in terms of I could still feel the road, um, but it wasn't like bumpy and it didn't kick my ass uh, in terms of riding it. I really think that this has to do with the new riser that they put in there. It seems like uh, this little yellow piece has a lot of really great absorption capability to it. Um, and that was something that I really appreciated. An extension of that, just the overall fit and finish of the board seems a lot more um, well put together than the first version did. You know, I mentioned the riser earlier. Um, the very first version was just a squared off truck riser that not only did it look shitty, but it also uh, didn't function as well. Um, the grip tape on version one, like I mentioned before, kind of hung over the sides. This one's nice and trim and together. Um, the initial version that we would have received from version one uh, Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaign, Mist Bell Leaf Special, it was Leaf Spe Special or something like that, uh, A-I-L instead of I-A-L. Um, that stuff is done. The, the plate itself, where you would connect all of the electronics from the battery to the motor, um, is very well designed. It's kind of beveled and embossed, which is nice. Um, the way that the, the charger is, is connected to it, uh, this very flush and nice way that it mounted. The, the actual etching of the leaf board itself into the wooden board um, is really nice and it's done very well. Um, so you can see that like the production value of this actually has gone up quite a bit um, and you can feel it in the ride quality as well. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but the remote is really phenomenal. It feels great ergonomically in your hand. Um, there's no more back and forth left or right function on the little egg remote that we had in version one, which is obviously useless, um, but it feels a lot better in your hand. Uh, the, it's more responsive in that way too. Uh, and it just, it's great. It's got that nice little rubberized coating. Um, feels nice and firm and robust and, and I enjoy it. The other thing too is that the way that it turns on and connects is very quick. You can tap the board itself and turn the, the remote on and you're ready to go. Whereas before we had to wait for the thing to connect and then take it off uh, of like a safety mode. Uh, so kind of push down on the remote before you could ride. You don't have to do that anymore and you're ready to go. Auto shut off is faster, which is nice. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I threw the board in the back of my car. And when I got home 20, 30 minutes later for version one, the red LED brake lights were flashing in the back because it hadn't shut off. That doesn't happen anymore. Um, before I remember that I had left the board on, it's already shut off itself, both the remote and the board itself, which is fantastic. A lot of people ask, can you kick push this board if it's shut off? Now, here's an interesting thing. If the board's still on, but the remote is off, the, the gear for the motor is still engaged. Uh, the clutch is not, is not enacted in that way. So you can't actually kick push it when the remote is shut off, but the board is on. If both things are off, you can use it just like a regular skateboard and I have, and it's great. Um, you know, just noted that because the, the lifted trucks and risers, it's a little bit further to the ground than you would have on a normal, you know, seven ply kind of twin fin skateboard. But yes, you can't absolutely kick push the board like a regular skateboard would. Um, a couple notes, um, just be aware that the general modes, like I said, are smoother, but they're also a little bit softer. I rode Leafboard version one on the, um, uh, not standard, I forget what it is, the second mode. Um, and in that way, it seemed to be just fine. Good acceleration, good braking. Um, all of the modes seem to be a little bit softer, uh, which I think is great for a beginning rider. I'm always riding this version two, the pro model, um, in pro mode all the time, version th uh, in mode three. Um, it's good enough speed for me. Uh, the braking seems to be adequate. Another thing too, just know that the braking is not as aggressive. They smoothed out the acceleration algorithm, but they also smoothed out the braking algorithm too. So um, just be, give yourself a little bit of time in terms of braking if you've had version one, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, hub driven skateboards that I've ridden uh, before, it's a similar braking algorithm in that regard. So the timing uh, is, is similar. Um, but you just give yourself a little bit of time and get used to the braking before you ride it a ton. The other thing I noticed is that there's actually a reverse mode on this board, which I don't know how useful it would be for you per se, um, but if you tap three times on the, the button to turn the remote on, it'll actually give you a bunch of arrows going backwards and the board uh, will go in reverse, which is a, a fun and interesting thing that I, I wasn't aware of. Um, so my initial impressions of Leaf Board Pro 
or Leaf Board version two, or I think it's Leaf Board Pro. Sorry, Leaf Board. I should have really nailed the name on that last take. Uh, but overall, very good. Uh, definitely a massive step up from the first version. Um, and if you are in a market for a sub $500 electric skateboard, I can't see you going wrong with something like this, especially because it's so small, so portable. And like I said, uh, carrying this thing around town in comparison to a larger, you know, boosted board or, or an Acton board um, is really a pleasure. And it's something that's not obtrusive and gets in the way. So if you're constantly moving and you want something to get you in and out of the streets quickly in a very fun and economical way, uh, this is it, but if you also don't want to have a situation where you have this giant thing you've got to be lugging around, uh, you know, like a 40 inch longboard, this is, uh, this is a, a slam dunk as far as I'm concerned. So my initial thoughts on the leaf board, get it son. This shit is awesome and uh, I can't wait to see what other cool things LeafBoard does. If you guys like this review, I would love a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, give a lot of different tips in terms of kind of budget filmmaking and uh, fun little tech and electronics in that regard. So uh, connect with me on Twitter and Instagram, RMT Shoots in that regard. Until next time guys, Robert T. Garden with the T. Garden Tech Review. Peace. I'm out.